What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have another unboxing video for you. I'm very excited about this one. Very, very excited. Got this in the mail yesterday, along with the other one that it comes with, like I got, okay, I'm gonna just tell you. Obviously you already know, because you see the title. But in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the 2016 August, what do they call this now? The Wonder, Wondering Wizard, mmm. Hold on. So this used to be called, I don't know what it used to be called. I used to call it the Harry Potter box from Geek Gear. But this box is officially now called the World of Wizardry Geek Gear. It must be just called the World of Wizardry, I guess. So there we go for you. Um, this box came in the mail along with the Geek Gear box. There's two separate boxes, but this one was way heavier, so I'm very excited about it. If you're interested in getting this box, I'm going to put all the pricing details in the description below for you. Let's get this crack a -lacking. Once you pull the tab, oh, wait, listen to this. Can you hear that? I don't know if the microphone's going to pick that up. There's liquid in here. I can hear the liquid. It said fragile on the bag, so maybe it's a bottle of liquid. All right, once you pull the tab and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. What do we see, what do we see? Let me turn off my alarm so that it doesn't go off during the video. I didn't have an alarm set, that's great. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pull the shirt out and here we go. The first item we have is... It's a mason jar mug, oh, and it has a design on it that says the three broomsticks, which is awesome. It says established 1452 Hogsmeade, serving the finest butter beer. Uh, this is a very, very cool little mason jar mug. I mean, the ones from the three broomsticks seemed a little bit bigger, but that's okay. I won't judge that. <laughs> I like this a lot, actually. The next item we have is, this is the liquid. Look how well it's packed. It has bubble wrap, and it has a Hogwarts sticker, and it has tissue paper, and it has a cardboard tube. Wow. They really went all out for this packaging. Is this going to be some butterbeer or something? It would only make sense, right? Jeez. They really wanted to make sure that this didn't break. Is this butterbeer for reals? Oh my gosh, I would not want to be the person who has to wrap this. Like, how many of these do they have to wrap? All right, we got a bottle of Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Beer. So I don't know if this is going to be the same as what Butterbeer is at Harry Potter World or, you know, in the movies and whatnot, but I'm sure this is close enough. So I'm not going to try this because I it's, it's in the morning. It's very early in the morning, and uh, I have to go to work in a little bit, but... I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator to get it nice and cold, and then maybe I'll post like an Instagram video or something of me trying it. So be on the lookout for that. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. All right, the next item we got is in this nice little box. I just love the personal, like the touches that they do. Like they got this box made for themselves. This is their design and everything. So they got a little box made just for this. Here you have all the house colors in their little confetti. And then we have this. Ooh. <gasps> wow. I just recently got a necklace in one of my boxes. It did not look like this. That's for sure. Look at this one. And this one's gold. So this is a necklace of the golden snitch. And I think that it, it looks like it opens up. Let me see. I don't want to break it. Oh. <gasps> You guys, this is so cool. Okay, let me show you a close-up before I show you what, this is so cool. Okay, so there's your golden snitch necklace. I just wanna say that I like the quality of this because my other necklace, the chain was like kinda janky. This is a really nice chain. I'm sure it's not real gold or anything, but it's still cool. But watch this, so if you press this button on the top, it opens up and it's a little clock it's a little clock you guys oh my gosh that's I love this this is so freaking cool I love this enough that I would legit keep this and I would actually wear it and it would go great with my Harry Potter shirt that I'm wearing right now I put this shirt on just for this video you guys this is so neat 
It's like a little wristwatch, like, but it's a golden snitch. <gasps> oh my God, I love this. Good job, guys, I like this one. Okay, we have a one passenger for a single ride journey. This is for the night bus. So it's, just, it's like a fake ticket to the night bus. That's pretty cool. We have a ticket to travel to Hogwarts on platform nine and three quarters. Hogwarts Express, focus. There we go. So it's like a replica ticket. They now have gift certificates for geek gear. We have this print. I think this is, I don't know if this is meant to be in here as a print or if this is just like the bottom of the box, but it's a Gryffindor print. That's just my shirt. And then the last one we have is our shirt. It's a white shirt and it's a men's medium, Gildan soft style. Oh, I can already see through the shirt and I'm excited. This is awesome. So this is a shirt, it says Hogwarts and it's made to look like the Disney castle. It says School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I like this shirt a lot. I wish it wasn't in white because I'm not a huge fan of white shirts, only because I tend to drop things on my shirt all the time. But I like this shirt so much. It's got the Disney font. It's got hog the Hogwarts castle, but made to look like, you know, how the Disney castle looks. Oh, love it. Oh, I like this box this month. Now, it does seem like there's not as many items, but I the items that they gave us were a little bit bigger and a little bit better, so I'm okay with that because... You know, if we would have gotten this many items, but they were all like filler items, I would have been sad. Um, I was kind of thinking like, what the heck would I even do with this thing? But I'm not going to lie. Maybe not so much with this one, but with this one, this is really nice. I wouldn't mind framing this, to be honest, like buying a small frame and just putting it right smack dab in the middle of the frame. And then just having this, like, that's how cool this actually looks. Like, because this looks pretty legit. So I'm a fan of that. The night bus one isn't as cool for me. Look at this, they have a little booklet now. Oh, I think next month is gonna have something to do with the Dark Mark and probably Voldemort or something. So they just, they have in this booklet a thank you from them saying thank you for being subscribed and that you can get a hold of them on all of their social media. So, oh, I wish I would have gotten this one. Look at this. This one's rainbow, that's super cool. For the shirt, you could have gotten any of the house colors. So we got red, of course, uh, for, well, see, this is what trips me out. This is not the color of Gryffindor. I just want to throw that out there. This is the color of Gryffindor. Do you see how that's different? This is a bright red, sometimes made to look like pink, and this is not red. It's like a deep, dark, scarlet, maroon, not maroon, but you know. Anyways, you could have gotten any of the colors. I wonder if they had like a special shirt that they gave to some people that had all of the colors because I like this a lot. That's a cool shirt. Then we got our Golden Snitch Pocket Watch, which I love. This is so amazing. Let me just open the clock for you guys one more time. So cool. I like that piece a lot. We got our Half Pint Tankard. That's what they call it. It's a mason jar mug that says the three broomsticks. Is that what you guys call it in the UK? Half pint tankard? Or is that just what it's called at, at the three broomsticks? I'm not quite sure. Then we have our flying cauldron butterscotch beer. We had our Hogwarts house flag print. So this was a print and you could have gotten any of the different houses right here. We got Gryffindor. I did pick the mixture box. That's supposed to be my box, I think. I mean, I prefer Gryffindor, but I don't mind the other houses, which is why I picked mixture or whatever. But this month I got Gryffindor. Um, and then we got a couple other prints. We got our, our Hogwarts train ticket so for the Hogwarts Express. And then we got our night bus ticket. If I could do the accent that that head on the bus had, I would do it, but I don't. August prizes. So for this box, this box is really cool because if you use somebody, anybody's code, um, an affiliate code, you have, you enter their like special, they have a special giveaway. So I think they have a regular giveaway for anybody who just is subscribed to them and then they have a sp another giveaway or the same giveaway but you have a better chance of winning for people who use affiliate codes. And I know you guys get mad when I say this but I have a code. 
You guys can use it if you want. You don't have to because there's a couple different codes that you can use if you want to get, you'd rather get a discount on your box or if you want to be, have a better shot at winning a giveaway. But a lot of you guys who have subscribed to this box and use my affiliate code have won. You guys tag me in pictures all the time. Um, this month's prizes were the three pack Funko Pops or the exclusive Neville Long, Long Bottom. I haven't seen anyone win this, but I did see a few people win this. So, you know, it's there for you if you want. Just up to you. This little booklet's cool. So you can, like, tag them in pictures and get in the booklet. All right, let's go into some pricing really quick. All right, we got our Hogwarts shirt. That's going to get $10. All right, this Golden Snitch necklace that's a watch. I'm pretty sure they got this on Etsy because they do tend to shop at Etsy, I think. Uh, I looked it up on Etsy, and it's ranging from a, a bunch of different prices. There's some that are really cheap. There's some that are really expensive. So I'm going to kind of just pick the in-between, and I'm going to give this $15. That might be a little bit high. But here's the thing about this is that I would pay $15 for this. This is actually a really, really cool necklace. I write, I like it a lot. I really like it a lot. And I don't really like necklaces all that much. This three broomsticks mug thing, I'm going to go ahead and give this $5. Just because I know they took the time to actually get that printed on there. The butterbeer, I'll go ahead and give, I'm going to give this $3, which I think is overpriced. But just the fact that how they packed it for me is like, Kind of incredible. It's a lot of packing that they did. Um, this print will just get a dollar. I'm going to give this print because it's back in front. I'll give that 75 cents. And then this ticket though, I really like this a lot. So I'm going to give this a dollar fifty. Sometimes I just make up prices on the print. Sorry because, you know. Is that everything? That is everything. Okay, so according to my pricing, this box is worth $36.25. Here's the thing. Just like how... It has been every month. I think I paid more for this box, so let's take a look. Well, I paid $36.89, about $36.89. So it just missed its value by like however many cents. Uh, not a big deal. This box has been like this, like just in general, the Geek Gear box. It's kind of like this where I just hit the value of the box now. You probably could give some of this stuff a little bit more. Again, I, I rate prints really cheap because I know that most, most companies do that in-house and it doesn't cost that much. Um, I think everything else, I mean, you might be able to give a little bit more to this maybe, but I think I actually price this pretty high. So I don't know. It's just kind of up to you what you think about it. But I like this box a lot because I like everything in it. So I'm a fan either way because I'm a Harry Potter fan. And there's really not many Harry Potter subscription boxes out there. So I really, really enjoy this one. And I enjoyed this month. I really like this necklace. I wouldn't have ever known that this was even out there. And I love this Although I'm a little bit sad because I think that my glass might be a little bit cracked on the handle. I don't think you're going to be able to see it in the video, but there's this line here and it looks like some kind of crack. So I'll have to be very careful with that, but I still really enjoy this mug. I'm excited to try the butter beer and uh, yeah, and I like the shirt. I actually really like the shirt this month, so I'm very excited. Uh, if I had to rate this box, I'd give this box a four to five noobs and the reason it doesn't get higher is just because of the value. I wish that it had more value, so that extra one point from four to five. It, if it had better value, then this box would easily be a five for me. But for this month, I'm going to give it a four out of five noobs only because of the value. The value was lacking, but I loved all of the items in it. It was really good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. You know, I know that it doesn't per my price and it doesn't hit its value but what do you guys think about it? if you guys are Harry Potter fans and I know I have a lot of Harry Potter fans out there what did you guys think about this box is it worth it is it worth it some Missy Elliott just came to mind anyways um yeah let me know what you guys thought about it. did you like it is it worth it to you what would you rate it even if the price isn't necessarily exactly like on par like if it's not getting that much value to it, what do you think? Um, but I'm a fan of this box, let me know. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up now, except for I didn't do new ones yet, so sorry. So we're still gonna do thank you to subscribers pages, OG edition. Anyways, have a great day, you guys, and I'll see you guys later, bye!